Hello everyone and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will and this is the Dungeon Master's Digest. This is just going to be a mini-series where I talk about some DM tips and my thoughts of the day. So, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Out of the Abyss and some ideas that I have that you guys could use when you're running your own games in Out of the Abyss. Now one of the things which I had to think about a lot when I was thinking about running Out of the Abyss was how to get a sense of the Underdark, how to really get a feel for this all-pervading gloom and darkness which the characters are going to be going through because it's an environment which we ourselves as humans are very unused to. Uh, it's completely unusual, abnormal for us to be in these circumstances. And so to be able to convey that to your players is something that's really important. A couple of the ways I think you can do this, and uh, one of the most important ones which I've come across, which I've been using in my game of Out of the Abyss, is descriptions of not only, this, not only what they see, uh, but also the sounds as well, because the visuals in and Underdark are obviously going to be different and weird. You know, you're going to be describing dark tunnels and these huge caverns. Um, but at the same time, what do the players hear? Because sound is something which really can set the scene uh, in Dungeons and Dragons. Because they're underground, you know, they're not going to be hearing the same sound. Sound is going to be completely distorted and warped in this underground t uh, tunnels and caverns and uh, they're going to be experiencing sounds like insects going by, drops of water, sound is going to be echoing and very uh, jilting and hard to perceive. Um, and so that's one technique that you could use. Uh, come up with some, um, you know, some descriptive words for uh, the visuals that they'll be hearing. You know, distorted, warped, there are a few that I've just come, uh, just come up with on the top of my head. Um, I'm sure you can come up with some better ones. Um, Another one is the descriptions in the actual book are, are really quite good. Let me read you out some um, from last night's session, actually. The walls of this great cavern are covered in slime, dripping, sickening green slime. Echoes of dripping water also fill the cave, in the center of which is a large spherical structure held up to the floor by stone pillars. Around these pillars crawl dozens of living oozes, heaving forward while reaching out with grasping pseudopods. So, the descriptions in the book, usually I don't bother reading out the kind of narrative, um, you know, read this passage out, uh, parts and modules, because I like to do it myself, but I, I'd take inspiration from them, I'd read through each one of them when you're entering a room, and, um, you know, read them out, or maybe um, change them a little bit, and uh, take that as a kind of a visual clue, if you will, as to what you're doing. At all times, I think it's important to really emphasize the bizarreness, the odd nature of the Underdark, because uh, even if the characters have like, dark vision, uh, they've never been in such a, a, a paranoid space, uh, you know, really, really claustrophobic. And so I think using rules like madness uh, is really cool, uh, because when people are in incredibly pressured situations and uh, claustrophobic situations and people do crazy things and so perhaps asking the players or thinking about yourself about how uh, being in that space would affect you um, that's a great way to not only encourage uh, characters to roleplay but also to get that sense that oh god I'm actually going a little bit mad in here. There's a few quick tips about running a game in Out of the Abyss or in the Underdark in general to remember at all times to purvey not only the visuals uh, but the sounds as well uh, and the weirdness of the Underdark and therefore the paranoia and perhaps the mental uh, effect that would have on your players. So thank you everybody for watching. I've been Will from Encounter Roleplay. This has been the Dungeon Master's Digest. Be sure to drop me a comment down below as to what you thought about this and if you have any ideas of your own about running uh, an adventure in the Underdark. But until next time, try not to roll too many that ones because I want to be here laughing when you do. Until next time, everybody stay safe and you can find me over there.